So guys, today we're back in another educational video because this time we're learning first grade science. So this video is for si this video is for first graders who are learning science right now, and we're gonna do five questions today. But if you, if you guys can study you if you guys want to study, you can always watch the video again about living and non living things. Okay, so this question is select the living thing. So a tree is a living thing, but a bathtub does is not. A fig tree is a living because it's an because it's basically um. So we're gonna click this, boom, and then it says select the living thing again. A stop sign is not living because a stop sign would move and talk if it was a living thing, and but. Our next choice is a clownfish, and a clown and fishes are living things, so it's clownfish. And then the next question we have is select the living thing. A tree is a living thing, but a paperclip, nope. So we're gonna click that pear tree. This next one says select the living thing. So we have an we have an animal here, a frog, and then we have something you play hockey with, a hockey puck. So that means it's the green frog. Yep. All right, stage two. Select the living thing. So let's see, we got iceberg. We got iceberg, coconut tree, stop sign, and a calculator. It's, you guys, guess what do you think it is? Yep, it's a coconut tree. Yep. All right, guys, and that is our final review, and that is the end of our review for identifying living and non-living things. If you want to study, you can always watch the video again. So, thank you guys for watching, and see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Wait. Yeah, there we go. All right. Guys, goodbye. Stop synchronized. So guys, today we're back. We're moving on to. So now we're moving on to social studies, and when you didn't really, you didn't really think I would end the video, but we need science and social studies to record too. Okay, so this is an introduction to maps. So right here we have maps are drawings of real places. Maps show you where things are. Match the words to the picture. So this is a real place right here. A map. It tells you, like, maps show you where things are. So, this is a map. So, let's see if this is right. Yep, that's right. All right, this one says, maps show places from above. It is like you are looking down from a tall building or an airplane. Here's a map of a park. Which photo shows what the park looks like from above? Right here. So, we click that, and then this photo shows what the earth looks like from above. Okay, the earth has a lot of water. It also has green or brown land. Label the water and land on the map below. So we have this map right here. So we have to figure out which one's water and which one's land. The water is blue, so that means it's... Okay. So back to this one. So this one is water right here. This is the very the very bottom because it's blue and a lot water in this says... Labeled the water, so this is water because it's blue, and Earth has a lot of water in it. And you see these little, these green or brown land you see is uh, is land. So you do that, submit, and nice. All right. Then it says, what colors do you see? Many maps show gr use green to show land, but maps use colors. The yellow and brown areas on this map are also called land. They show dry land called deserts. What do you think the white areas at the top are at the bottom? Here's a hint. It is very cold. So here we go. A globe is... Which image shows someone using a globe? This one right here. Because you see that little spear? All right. This one says, a gl globes help you see a whole world. All right. So you guys can read this. This whole... This thing. You guys can see all of this here. You can see all of this stuff right here. And that is what you need to know. All right, next one. Maps, last one actually. 
Maps can help you learn about new places. Maps often have titles. Taya lives in Springfield. Taya is drawing a map of her new school. What title should she use for her map? So this looks like a school here and a school bus. This should be Springfield Elementary School. Boom. So that's correct. And this and this and that is our and that is our finished review of science and social studies. Our first lesson of that. So guys, thank you guys for watching. And if you guys did, please smash the like button and we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Uh